Why, hello everybody, my name is Fritex and welcome back to the Commander series. We have an interesting start to do today because I'm not sure what's going on, but the enemy have arrived to investigate my land. Now, of course, I did put like three or four AI cores in there. I presume they figured it out and they've sent a giant fleet to try and take me down. However, I randomly have the power of my battle station, which might be able to save us here. What do they want to have? The comms stabilized and the hegemony fleet commander appears before you. Straight bat and stern face. Citizen! This non charter volume is now the subject of an active operation to investigate the possible use of forbidden AI technologies. I invoke full martial use of force protocol per hegemony diktat. Power down your fleet weapons, shields, and engines and prepare to receive inspectors from the Ministry of Technology's standards. She tips her head down very slightly. You are thanked in advance for your immediate cooperation with our investigation. What is this on about? The rogue AI menace, Captain, she says with utter self-assurance. Uncontrolled artificial intelligence led to the death of billions of human beings. We will not allow that to happen again. Now, submit your fleet to inspection. Let's see. Oh, can I talk my way out of this? Interesting. Yeah, AI thinking beings who have been enslaved by exploiters and warmongers. My AI has free dental. They are treated with respect within my empire. Oh no. Judging by her expression, the fleet commander lacks an appreciation for your physiological position. A human sympathizer with genocidal machines. <laughs> Her words erupt like weapon fire. You disgust me. This is absurd. You have no such authority in this volume. Attempting to evade the legitimate technological regulation inspection per domain law is highly suspicious and itself a crime. Every tertiary meddling with AI technology is strictly controlled for the good reason. Billions are dead, would speak to that, but she gives you a look of merciless irony. The hegemony fleet commander speaks aside. Prepare the boarding parties. Give orders to especially Fora. We're dealing with prime space come. I cut the comlink and power up weapons. We're doing it. It's happening. We're going in, everybody. The full power of my fleet will be unleashed. Oh, I can't call my own units in. <laughs> Now my full real fleet will be engaged. Let's go, everybody. So I have got my new ship. Now I'm going to put, a, put a, a bit of a caveat on this one. Uh, the new ship has missing weapons and stuff. So it's not going to be that good at the moment. But it will be better than what I was using before. It's actually a bigger ship. So, okay, uh, we're going to go in. We're going to probably just defend this part. Oh, cool, my friends. We've got loads of mechs here. And this is my, of course, my battle station. Let's have a look. So they got a big fleet, right? We probably should try and have what we do. How do you want to deal with this quickly? I will probably set a defense mission here. All units pull back behind the station. Once they start engaging this guy, we will then move forward with our full force and attack from the sides. Problem is, if you attack right away with your fleet, they will defend the front of the station so it doesn't get attacked, but then your fleet dies. So you want to kind of have it so the station is taking all the aggro here. Let them come in. Are they not going to get closer? Interesting. Okay, plan B, everybody. Plan B. I have some commands in the bank, so we should be able to do this multiple times. Everyone go this way. <laughs> go back. Go back, I say. Let them get closer. This station's got a ton of guns on it, guys. It's better than tanking than you. Oh, especially this ship could be a problem. Let me just shoot my very slow cannons, <laughs> which probably won't be able to kill anybody. They're getting closer. The fleet's not as big as I thought it was, actually. It actually seems like it's quite manageable. Once the battle actually starts, it should be pretty good. What I might do... i got this commands left, right? All units. Go over here. I'm going to sweep in from one side of their fleet once they engage the main station. Engage! Now, even though my ship's not that good ammo, it should have enough anti-shield damage to help out a little bit. Okay, that's worry enough. Everyone, move in, engage. Go, go, go. They're definitely in range now. If we shoot, we have backup. Go for this guy first. 
Okay, activate fire mode. We haven't got a lot of bombing units yet. It's just a bunch of smaller ships, so we're not going to be too grand against them. That station's getting hit a lot. We need to go and... Guys, help, 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 help. We need to send the reinforcements. Okay, so I haven't got much cool stuff myself, but I have a lot of sword mechs. So if we clear out enough enemies, hopefully they can move in and try and do a lot of damage here. I'm trying to maintain fire on this phase ship. Might better get rid of it. Oh, there's so much firepower. It's kind of a shame we haven't got a high-tech station. I think I'll go for that when we have more money in the bank. No, it's dying! Attack guy! Oh, they're all attacking this big ship. Interesting. Okay, well, there's nothing I can really do about that for now. I say I'm going to switch around. We're going to go and focus all firepower on this big ship. All units, engage this thing. It has big armor, but if we can crack it, it's going to go down. It's going to go down. I just lost a guy. <laughs> engage! Okay, so I'm already down on the side here, but their station's going to die in a second. So it's going to be us versus the rest of them, I think. If we can just get rid of the high-level units, so the rest of the battle will be a lot easier later on. Keep attacking, guys. Keep attacking. Oh, the eagle's coming out. Okay, I'm going to switch over to attack the eagle. Oh, God. Oh, God. We're on engage mode, right? Yeah, they are. It's just <laughs> dangerous. Okay, I've got to try it. This guy's going for me. I've got to back up. Back up. Back up. Oh, I thought the vent would be quicker than that. Oh no, oh no. I really need some better weapons. If I had some like high velocity drivers, this would be a lot easier. That station is going to go down quite soon and we've barely even touched their units. We are going to kill this guy though very shortly though, which should hopefully help us out quite a ton. Engage this guy first. They're retreating some of them. Perfect. We can win this. Okay, all units, engage this target next. Everyone go for the same guy. Take him down as soon as possible. This guy's got a lot less armor, but he's a lot stronger in terms of weapon damage. Oh, I'm going to get wrecked in a second. Pull back, pull back. No! It's okay. They're fine. He should go down quickly as soon as the shield goes down. There's another Dominator coming. Oh, look at all the sword guys just swarming him. Oh, no! Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Okay, all units, kill this guy next. <laughs> I've run out of orders. Okay, it's annoying. Damn it. We're kill one at a time. They can't defeat all of us. No, wrong one. That one. Engage, engage, engage. So, oh, wait, I forgot I can do this multiple times, can't I? So what I do, I put another one on him for next time. And then we'll all switch over there. So the station itself is doomed, everybody. But we would have won this battle. It is okay, I think. Oh, it's my new ship! It's so beautiful. I don't know why it's got these weird things, though. I actually put on the ship uh, two mechs, by the way. We have... Where are they? I can't even see what they're called. Colga Light Wing. They don't seem to be using it, though, so it's actually a bit confusing. Hopefully they use them in a second. Actually, what I might do temporarily, I might switch over to you to see, what, see why you're not using them. Don't mind me, just taking a bit of a vacation. If these aren't suitable to be put on ships, I'll give them something else. Uh, they're regrouping. They're kind of injured right now, that's why. So I'll go back to my ship. So that means there's two mechs per squad. And we're back. Perfect. We might get some good weapons from this. We definitely killed high velocity drivers already, so... Do you know what? If we do this quick enough, we might be able to save the station. Which means it can repair itself. Oh, I'm using the wrong weapons. There you go. Fire, fire, fire. My allies don't seem to want to get too close to this guy. I'm feeling like I can't really blame him too much, but still. Oh, nice. Damage buff. No, 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 no. Don't die, my friend. It's weird how efficient this ship build is. It's got so much flux, it doesn't even use it. Oh, this is looking good. Look at this damage now. Kill him. Only I can use the AI cores. They will fuel my nation to new heights. Oh my god, look at all the swords! Okay, save the, the station is saved. All units. Oh my god, the station killed the thing. We've done it. We've done it, everybody. It's, it's done. The enemy's been defeated. The station survived. We survived. We may have lost a few guys here and there, but it wasn't the end of the world. 
I was not expecting such glorious victory, everybody. Uh, let's see. So, are you repairing yourself? I just saw like a weird repair icon there. He is repairing himself. How cool is this? He has the power of repair. Okay, so I'm pretty sure they've retreated, right? Yeah, okay, good. So, most of their fleet is still active. They lost all the fighters, though. <gasps> Orion Cox died? No, we lost another guy already. <laughs> okay, so the enemy is retreating. We're going to chase them down. Probably want to be using an auto resolver, I think, on this one because they're retreating. We're calling everybody that's remotely fast. All right, this is the entire fleet, I think. Dead. Good stuff. Ship recovery. I recover my two damage mechs. No one else, though. We're not doing that in this series. Done. Sorted. We got another prisoner. Though I am seeing a lack of high-velocity drivers, so that is a bit of a shame, but it is what it is. Let's get rid of that. They've been defeated. There was actually a second force. Oh, it's just some random merchants. They're a bit like, uh, do we want to trade here, sir? They just blew up our friends. Uh, I'm not sure. Well, anyway, that has taken that down a bit. Was that the event, or is that something... The crisis will be averted if... Pre I think that wasn't the event. I think that was just a random thing that happened. I must admit, I presume I was notified about that happening. I just did not notice it was going, going to be going on. Local threats. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure about that one, but at least we're not there, right? Enemy destroyed. Okay, go back to base. Let's have a look. More weapons for me? Not really. I did not get enough cool stuff from that battle. We should probably finish them off. Oh, uh, yeah, you, you get you get out of there. You get. Ooh. Take it. Thank you. So let's dump all this stuff back into this base. So we have a lot of stuff for future endeavors. I'm going to go and sell items in a nearby base just to get some cash up. Now, you may be confused if you're watching this after the last episode because I've lost some stuff. I didn't save at the end of the last episode. Don't ask me how I managed that, but I did. So I think I lost the last 10 minutes of the game. So I didn't pick up the... What is it called? I did not pick up the ore. Not ore. So I didn't actually manage to pick up all the bio stuff, all the organs and whatnot. So that's a big shame. I'm thinking it might be worth me going back there just to go and grab it, but I'm not 100% certain right now. For now, though, we're going to sell some goods nearby and just sell the stuff I do have. Then we'll teleport back to that part of the map, grab the organs, and hopefully make a bigger profit for it in the long run. So uh, let's have a quick look. So let's get rid of these fellas, and everything else can be sold. Cool. I'll take it. Repair all ships, special functions. We should probably also keep double checking the... This is like so I know. We should probably keep double checking the bar in case it's like a... I know where a blueprint is. Kind of mission. Oh, there is a thing to buy some mercenaries. We'll, we'll do that. So it next one. This is help move luxury goods. Well, I'm going to do that anyway, right? Can I do this? 90 units. For yeah, that's easy money. So what we do, we take this mission. We go to where they request. And then we use this place to sell our goods, which we currently have on us. So it's sorted. And the station is survive. did survive. So it should repair itself. And it should be fine in the future. Okay, let's go. Full speed ahead. That went pretty well. I was kind of a bit scared, to be honest. <gasps> Oh, there's an even bigger fleet. <laughs> hmm. I don't think we can deal with that one, to be honest. That one's a, probably a bit out of our repertoire right now. They don't seem to be... They don't seem to be actually going to my star base. So we'll just see what happens. I mean, at this point in the game, if they actually capture or attack me, I've literally lost two gamma cores. I have loads on me anyway. It's not a big deal. Oh, so while we're flying to the next objective, let's a quick look at our character because we've leveled up again. So what's happening? We've got this skill now. I wanted to try and get another skill which will help us out quite a bit. Now, oh, I did this last episode, didn't I? So I think originally, this is the bit I lost. This is one of the bits I failed to carry over. Did I go for the movement speed one? If I didn't, I'm sorry. It's been like two days. <laughs> I think I went for this. If not, it's okay. This does mean we now got maximum speed though, which is a giant, well, buff really to help our speed out massively. Oh, what's that? 
It's okay. It's okay. So the enemy is quite far away. Let's skip till we get there. There's pirate armadas heading into that location. Is there a bounty here by chance? No, it's not for this location. Okay, we're in all that then. I mean, it's good for getting experience, but we've got money to make. We want to build this research lab today. So, where am I going? Uh, that one down... Oh, I should have gone a bit earlier. <laughs> oh, wow, it's fine. We'll fly over there. So, we get some free money. I can then sell a lot of my goods on the black market at the same time. And hopefully, you get enough money to start building the research lab. Ooh, nice. Oh, they're getting attacked there. Those are the ones that are dying. Did you see that? Those freaks just appeared and attacked that station. Well, so much for the hivers then. Although these are hivers as well, I think. Hey, I'm here to hand the mission in. Oh! Oh. Do nothing to see here. I'm an identical fleet. Ah, no church patrols seem to be aware of my activity. Perfect. <laughs> Smashed it. I didn't realise that was a smuggling mission. My bad. It's fine. Nothing to see here. I've always had my transponder on. Okay, <laughs> moving on swiftly. I could have sold my goods easier then. Ah, whatever. It's fine. So let's just uh, sell goods that we've picked up here. I'll sell these basic cheap goods here. And then we we'll sell the ones that actually sell for money on here. I do not want to sell these particular items to the normal factions. Because then they would use them to go and colonize stuff. Which is annoying and bad. So I want to try and avoid that if I can. Might well sell some of these guys as well. Suspicion. Extreme. No, that's fine. I'm just selling some food. Yeah, I'm just selling this all. Okay. I think they may know that I'm a bit naughty. It's okay, though. We can just leave and not look back. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Don't worry about me. Repair all. Okay, let's have a quick look at the old... I don't know what that was. I just clicked some buttons. Okay, apparently I had a random event, but I just want to talk to people inside the bar. Uh, what is this? Is this another smuggling mission? Oh, this is a regular transport mission. Can I negotiate for a higher fee? No, nah, not, it's not worth it at this point. It's only like 100 grand, but I will accept that as well. Do they... Yeah, it's easy. We just do this. Perfect. I've become a trader all of a sudden. What does this person want? I'll, I will read them out if it's something important. If it's not, I'm just clicking through to make sure we get good missions and stuff. Uh, what is this one? Nope, she wants to be a sack and neutral party. And this is a bounty target, but she works for the Ludic Church. And the faction I'm not really that interested in working with. So I think we'll leave for now. Let's keep going. So we'll head over next to the cell target. And then at that point, we would just be shy of enough money to actually set up our new base thing. So what I'm going to probably do, after we go back to hand this mission, I'll probably teleport back to that other part of the map. And we then go and just get that organs, sell them for a massive profit on the black market, and then we should definitely have enough money to go from there. So as I was just going to the next objective, this guy came out of nowhere and started attacking me, but looking at his fleet, I don't think he's actually that strong. Now, I have actually escaped him, just to clarify. I can get away, but I think we might turn around and take him down instead. Why, hello? 8% XP. Yeah, we've got, we got enough troops for this. This should be fine. 185 speed on a Falcon is pretty good. I still can't get over how pretty this ship is, though. It's like a, it's like a weird, it's like a floating wing in the depths of space. I kind of like it. Okay, so enemies has been spotted. Let's just grab the important ones. So we grab the sensor jammer and the nav boy, and I think the rest should be okay. Let's get a bit closer. So there's this, I think like three or four big enemy ships we got to keep an eye on. So once we kill them, it should be a pretty simple battle to win here. Let's go for this guy next. Oh, he's being surrounded by loads of tiny mix. Get him, men. Okay, there's the Griffin. This guy's going to have a lot of sh missiles. They always do. I'll try and pacify him with my long-range cannons. Oh, I'm being attacked by... What, what happened to me? <laughs> I was being attacked by some weird, like, floating drone or something. Oh. Oh, they're pretty good against those shields, those things. Okay, we'll keep distance for now, then, until my allies catch up a little bit. 
we are capturing the points over there. And that, those guys are getting killed as well. That's good to see. They have got another boy over there. So that is a bit annoying. What's that like shattering glass sound? I don't think... What's causing that? <laughs> don't mind me. Just dodging the enemy here. Okay, shoot away. Oh, wow. My cannons are great against these shields. Oh, is this our new guys? These are the condo wings on my carrier. They don't seem to be very effective against armor, but maybe they're really good against hull or shields. It does sound like an anti-shield weapon. Shame I haven't got another big ship that can help me out, because uh, we don't really want to push too hard into this, because i got a lot of ships, and I've only got, like, three or four guys here. Uh, so what we'll do, I think we'll give some orders out to my guys to help win this battle. So I think we will get you free, and that, to strike this enemy here. I'm then going to send you two off to take down the enemy there. I'm doing a lot of exterminates because I want them just to kill the enemy quickly and move on with their lives. Over here, we have a random phase ship. So these are a giant pain in the ass. I think to be safe, we would actually just probably give the order to all three of these guys to attack there. Next, we've got a wolf versus a wolf, which is a pretty good battle, actually, if you think about it. I think probably a good idea. We actually just assign these three to go and fight that battle. So the only person left is actually myself, and I can command myself. It's fine. My troops have been commanded. <laughs> That's all we need to know. Let's get rid of these. One strikes down. Okay, you're coming in. So what we probably want to do now, we probably have like a large engage mission on this dude. And we make sure the troops that are not assigned to another mission come and help out with that. I will probably reassign... Wolfhound, that's a tough ship. Okay, both you guys go that way. And you... Go and help hunt down that. Everyone else, come and join me. Done. Please don't get yourself killed. Oh, no, the HP! It seems to be okay, it's fine. How many more battles are there? I think there's like one more additional battle. Then once that's done, all my fleet should come this way. Oh, hey there, Wayfarer. How's it going, buddy? Take my terrible damage. Oh, look at those missiles, though. Okay, focus target. Guys, focus target. Hand me down. Ooh, no, 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 no. I think he's dead. Oh, my God. Is he trying to heal himself while getting taking damage? He survived. <laughs> what a hero. Wait, can he actually repair himself and come back into the battle? Just do your own thing, buddy. I want to see if you go to a hangar bay. Wait, he is. I'm pretty sure he's doing it. Oh my god. That is amazing. We can just continually take damage, retreat, and bring them back into combat again. I love it. Probably a bit overpowered. Maybe a little bit overpowered. It's fine. <laughs> uh, can you grab that nav boy, buddy? Uh, I thought they just killed themselves for a second there, but they seem to be okay. Okay, I'm going to start working on the griffin. If I can get past this damn hole in the ground. Yes. Oh, they got that in the bag. Whoop. Okay, let's work on it. This guy should not do well if it's confronted by a bunch of enemies, so... They have got a reaper torpedo, so you've got to keep an eye on that. Oh, I think it just got... Wait, it's still there, it's still there. This is looking great. We are smashing this. Done. I'm pretty sure that was the only... No, someone's captured this point. There's another guy alive somewhere. Ah, there they are. I would not want to be this brawler right now. I do not think he's going to make it. Wait, I got a 33rd Skull Squadron? <laughs> nice. Okay, claim victory. Pursue. There is a absolute ton of them retreating at this point. Uh, everyone that's fast, join the pursuits, and we got pretty much all of them. Nice. I'm apparently getting a frame rate issue right now, so I probably should reload the game after this. It's going badly. 
Oh no, we haven't got we got too much stuff. Uh let's drop I don't want to drop the supplies. I mean I have a choice. We're in Norit. It would be fine. Ooh, another officer has appeared. And he's a centurion. Yes. I'll take him. Okay, where who should we assign to this new thing? Arrow Webster. Very cool. So we've got some level ups actually. Haley's leveled up. So we give us some combat endurance. And Santa Claus has leveled up as well. So we make sure we give him. Ooh, what do we want? It's a tough one. It is a tough one. This one would be great for huge ships. Polarized armor. I think we go for this one. And eventually we give Santa Claus a giant ship he can use. Ah, we finally made it. Okay. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. What is this? Oh, I know what this is. Along with a few concerned associates, I've put together a fund for a bounty on all pirate fleets in or near the Her star system. Nine light years away. I'll start at 1,000 credits per frigate. This is amazing, because if you remember, there's actually two pirate bases right next to each other. Yeah. I'm accepting this. We're going to make a ton of money. It's going to be glorious. Let's get going. Oh, God, guys. I thought I had enough money. I'm so... No! <laughs> it's this short. We are moments away from doing it. What we could potentially do, actually, is I kind of want to use this faction, right? How many factions in the game again? Let's have a quick look. Factions. I think out of all the factions we currently have, this one's the most interesting to me. So I'm kind of going to give them my prisoners, I think, just so we can get some friendship with them at some point. Uh, hi, friends. Would you, by chance, take the prisoners? Plus four. Not too great, but it is what it is. I'll, I'll sell one to get us so we can start building that base. And the rest can just improve our relations here. Done. That worked out pretty well. Okay, let's head over to the Hurtle House system then. Which is not that far away. It's literally just over here. And then we can get a massive amount of bounty missions. So, oh. Okay, what uh, next thing we can do, if we go to the colony, we will start building the research facility. Which is going to take 30 days. It's going to be a bit of time, but hopefully it'll finish at some point. There should also be a bounty on their pirate base as well. So, oh, there's so many of them. I mean, we, we don't really got much choice, have we? We're going to have to go for this. <laughs> oh, no. It's okay. We have a bunch of superior ships. They will survive this battle ahead. Uh, grab the sense jammer. Yes, do that, guys. We're going to grab that for now. Okay, if I can, I want to try and get both sensor jammers because it would make a big difference here. Definitely a big difference. Oh, enemy spotted. Okay, there's a few there. I want to give more commands. We don't recharge them very fast yet, so it's a bit awkward. I might wait until there's more enemies on the screen, then we'll mess around with it a bit. So there is an enemy strike that way, so I think I'll go for them myself. I should be able to kill them quite quickly if I get in range. They're getting so should my mechs, so you should be able to quickly swing around and kill that guy as well. We want to be careful with the main enemy ship. If we get too close to it without much support, we're going to have a very long day. Oh, okay, there he is. Oh, this might work out pretty well. Oh, here comes a lot of fighter craft. Okay, let's go for this guy. Ambush mode, maneuvering jets. Get a bit closer. He knows I'm here. He's not getting anywhere near me. <laughs> He is, of course, fast enough to try and avoid me, but this guy's not. Ooh, actually, can you retreat, my friend? You are a bit injured there. Let's not lose troops for no reason. And we're going to get the second jammer as well. Okay, let's go for this enforcer. We'll try and get rid of his HP. The battle's very spread out already. My guys are all over the place right now. Which should be okay. I want to go for guys that we can actually kill, though, because the only thing I can really do is break shields at the moment, so I'm not that useful. But we can very slowly kill this hound, though. Let's go for this. There's so many mules. <laughs> They're everywhere. Oh, there's a lot of fighters. We probably want to get some actual fighters at some point as well, because just having mechs is going to cause us problems with dogfights, I think, at some point. This mule is very close. Very close. 
Okay, people are dying. Um, you two go in and kill that guy there yourself. You go and reinforce him. Oh, wrong man. You guys go and reinforce over there. I got some guys on me. We probably want to try and keep certain people alive. I reckon we just do a big, quick gank on this enemy, which is going to be a pain in the ass anyway. Take him down with full firepower, then he won't be able to surprise like my smaller ships, like my my carrier, my wolf, that kind of thing. Ah, oh, the sword mech! Get him, buddy! This guy's going to cause a big time da damage here. I'm going to get rid of that harpoon. It always says harpoon dislodge. I think it may not be the most consistent of weapons in the world. Oh, he's so close to death. Oh, he's got no way of it. Okay. Switch out again, guys. Focus far on that hound. Can you imagine doing like a graviton only play this play? It's gonna it would take ages to kill anything, but you probably would win eventually. Oh, we're being pushed back this way, but reinforcements should be coming in. They have got pretty much their entire fleet now in the combat, so there's gonna be a lot of them. Okay, I'm gonna keep trying to back up with my super speed, and we'll try and get some vents out as well. Oh, be careful, because there's dudes with Reaper torpedoes. That would absolutely ruin my day. Okay, I'm trying to think of how to next proceed. The carrier forces over this way, as well as a big-ass drone. And we've got reinforcements coming from behind. We'll just see where the cookies lie, I think. We'll see how things work out. Okay, there's the main enemy ship, though. Re-engage. Ah, oh, this town's done for. No, nearly. Oh, please, finish him off. Yes. Good, we got one. That guy has a ton of missiles. He's also got a bunch of Hellborn cannons, so if we actually do get in close with him, he's probably just going to destroy us. I probably want to make sure my... Oh, get rid of that mission. That's why it's a bit weird. Everyone just engage how you would normally engage, please. We should probably send a squad up. To kill that condor. This is get out of the way completely. And also over this way as well. We probably should take down. These enemies as well. Yeah I think it works out. I don't think the AI sent off any reinforcements. To go and recapture the point. So we should keep the ECM rating. Which is pretty handy. Oh over that way. Okay they're closing in for sure. People are probably scared of the Enforcer and stuff, so if we try and break down its shields, they'll probably move in and attack it. Okay, guys, sword mode. Go, go, go. Oh, he's doing it. Oh, striker. Oh, that's a lot of missiles, though. i got to keep moving up left because I'm being hunted down here. Now, I'm a bit concerned about this. I w oh, I've left that behind. I have left that behind. I think this Enforcer's probably... Okay, let's change, our, let's, change, let's change brands here. I do not want to lose the carry if we can. We'll try and keep her alive. Okay, kite's running out of thing. That's okay. They killed that thing. Okay, they definitely killed the condor, so that is out the way. But there's still an absolute ton of them. Over here, they are still doing their mission. And I hopefully they can kill the enemy soon and reinforce. Because we probably need some backup against this amount of enemies. They are absolutely everywhere. Oh my, that was a lot of missiles. <laughs> I don't think my point defense can even hold off against that. Let's go for an easier target first. We'll take this guy down. Okay, there's another guy dead this way. It seems like they're actually getting to a point where they're moving off to fight my allies up there. So we might actually use a lot of my friends here to quickly destroy and gank that condor. Or we can do exactly the same thing, but go for the enforcer, which would probably be a better idea. Ooh. Oh, that's the guy that hasn't got any shields. You probably should back up, my friend. <laughs> the force is way more dangerous. Once we break the black of their fleet, we can just sweep through it with all the sword units. Good stuff, guys. Next target. Keep going in. It's looking good, it's looking good. Oh, I actually do, I do a bit of damage with this weapon, actually. I don't think it did any damage at all. Excellent. Okay, back up. Oh, behind me. Nope. 
Okay, let's see what's going on now. The enemy is looking pretty good right now. I think we're doing some progress. My guys have spread around quite a bit, though, so it's not perfect. But we should be able to kill the guys that are fighting us. Now, I'm not sure what to do myself. Either I'm going to turn around and go for the enemies that are kind of separated out. If I had a command right now, I'd tell everyone just to go and gank this big ship, but we just don't have one available. We have to try and get some more command points as we play the game later on. There are definitely skills that help out of that, though, so it is definitely possible. Oh, that guy is brave! <laughs> What's he doing? He did it, though. Oh, she did it. My apologies. Okay, face tank in this guy has not worked out too great. Let's back up a little bit. This is a bit risky. If he fires those missiles, I'm going to be in trouble. Okay. Let's have a quick look. That's looking brilliant. I see what we do. Remaining units. Switch target. Did you just die? Oh, she did. Oh, no. That's annoying. Everyone switch over. Attack the enemy big ship. He's by himself. We kind of surround him. We're just going to go for the kill. Okay, this shouldn't take very long. They have not got a lot of armor and stuff. It's just a big hulking derelict. And I should do a lot of damage with my shields to defense it. We are being chased, but that thing's way too slow to keep up with us. Oh, have they recaptured. Oh, they recaptured some of the ECM. No, look at this damage. Also, the thing as well, the com relays. Faster command point recovery. I should have thought about that. But I can't do anything about that right now. Disabled. We lost another one of the armored ones. Okay, now we go as a group. Take down every guy we come across. And I think at the end, back down the bottom left, there is the enemy main ship. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, we lost another one? Who keeps killing my... It's the missile spam, isn't it? The missile spam is causing havoc here. So now we're kind of stuck between two ships. This one is pretty tanky, but it looks like our Zerg is going up top here. Go, my Zerg. Do they, do they have swords as well? I don't think they do, unfortunately. Cool. Now it's just me. Well, I say me. Now it's my fleet and the big thing. Hopefully this gives us quite a bit of cash, though. We should have got a few, because we just wiped out so many of them. Yeah, I'm, this is definitely killing the mechs. That is a lot of missiles. They do not have a chance against this. Yes! Beautiful. Victory. So I lost three mechs there. Our pursuit of all forces left alive. And hopefully we can recover all of them. Excellent. Maybe we don't want to have the mechs piloted by officers though, because it does seem to kill them off quite often. <laughs> okay, so we'll take all the stuff available. Confirm. I have actually tried to take down the station, by the way, but it's not worth it. We can win, but we lose, like, everybody in the process. But what I'll do instead, I'm going to go inside. I'm going to launch a raid, and I'm going to steal a ton of resources. So while I was managing not to record myself, there was a bit of a problem where I just had no supplies left. So we've just fixed that. And we're going to move on. So I'm also going to go and try and do exactly the same thing now in the other place. There should be quite a few enemies we can still take down over there and we get more bounties. Oh, you guys survived? I thought I killed you all. What? Yes. No. Wait, how's the other guy? In? They're not in the battle. <laughs> Kill them all. How did four mechs not kill a shepherd? I refuse to but Fine. Can I just prove how stupid that was? That doesn't make any sense. I will do it myself. Let me get in there. Let me just prove the game how wrong it is there. 
That was insane. Okay, where are they? This guy's got a mining blaster. That's pretty cool, actually. I like it. So this enemy apparently escaped from four mechs, which is pretty impressive. I'm closing already. Ah, by the way, I haven't got time for you. Oh. Did that hit my engine? No, I think we're good. You're doomed. Doom! Take my sword. <laughs> Nailed it. And it wasn't even halfway through the map. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so that guy has been destroyed. I am confused why his friend was in that battle, but whatever. So we're going to move off anyway. I presume on the other base it should also function properly with the bounty, because it's literally right next door. If we go into just any point, we'll probably see them very shortly. Hi. Where do you think you're going? Okay, hopefully this time it'll work. Uh, auto resolve. We killed the big one. I think that's okay. And we can also now confirm if it works or not with the bounty. No, it doesn't. So there's no point us doing this. So what we're doing instead then, we'll head back to base. I need to get some more bombers because we can kill a station, but we have no big ticket items. We have no bombers. We have no, like, large anti-armor. It was mostly the armor that was a problem. Though I will say my fit is kind of cursed because it's not really designed for anything. It's not even designed. It's just random equipment I own. <laughs> so it needs to be improved as soon as possible. If we jump back in here. Oh. Is that another investigator coming in? That's, uh... That's, 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 that's interesting, that is. Oh, you just killed some and there's more. <laughs> we may or may not need to panic a little bit here. I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's jump in here anyway. Oh! Oh. How does this work? I've never done this before. This is brand new for me. Okay. What now? Storage for materials that are used for research. Research data bank. Do I talk to somebody to do research? I don't know. Do you know what I should probably do? I should probably look up how do this works on the store on the mod page. Because <laughs> I have no idea. No idea at all. Maybe let's go and look at the actual carny. Aha! <gasps> oh my god! How cool is this? There is a full-on tech tree. Bifrost? Ooh. So we're on this one, right? We've researched monoculture plots and fisheries, as well as some basic industries, which I couldn't seem to see in the build menu. Or these upgrades. I think these are upgrades for existing things. So we can go down here, right? We can pick one. So we can go for exoskeletons to increase mining. 15 days to... It requires a data bank. We've already got what we need. Oh, this is great. I... No, that requires four, two, and two. We've already got a farm, haven't we? Wait. Yeah, we've already got a farm industry here. Oh, this is awesome, though. So do we want to save up, then? Maybe we do. So this one is refining industry, light industry. Which is why I can't see them. Okay. No, it's like, oh, that's like production, but I guess I'll graze the light industry afterwards. Okay, let's have a quick look, though. So how does it, how do we produce these things? A dedicated and often guarded research facility. Gentlemen, scholars, and megalomaniacs alike use these installations to conduct their endeavors away from prying eyes. Public institutions have been invaluable assets throughout human history, and yet contemporary historians agree that it has all started with small scale stations funded by and benefiting strictly those better off. Interesting. Okay. So I don't know what this technically does. Does it now just produce over time different things? Special projects? 
Oh, this is a big foundation. This could turn into one of the mega mods of this game. I mean, imagine if you had a thing where you just research ship types. Then everyone, like, starts getting their own ship. Oh, it could be like a, a 4X game properly. Everyone starts with a planet. Everyone researches technology to get better ships as the game goes on. Can you imagine how cool that would be? Oh my god, this could be a completely different type of game with this mod. You can do so much with it. I can't. You can research weapons, guns, officer training. You can make this into a proper full race. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. I love this. This is awesome. Okay, so anyway, for now, oh, there's also different effects. Lower hazard rating by 10% on water worlds. Subsidized farmings. Orbital works. Oh, that's why we haven't got it. It's because it's not been researched yet. If you can't tell, I'm I'm a fan of this. <laughs> uh, if you're if you're confused if I like this or not, it's I definitely do. I definitely do. We have to have a quick look around here. Sorry, this is not probably the most exciting end of the video. For, for me, this is like the most exciting thing I could possibly be doing right now. Uh, what even are those ores? I never even seen those. So, is there more passive effects? There's a lot of things to create different... I don't recognize a lot of these, by the way, these materials. Oh, actually, I recognize the two on the right, but not the one on the bottom left with the demands and effects. No idea what that is. Allows further research of gate structures. Terminus structure. So this is what leads to us being able to, I presume... So as you get further in, it does seem that... Oh my god! God, this produces everything. <gasps> Special items decrease upkeep, increase accessibility. Awesome. I would like to see some more passives, though, for like different colonization types. But I presume this mod's kind of new, so I haven't seen it before. And if I knew it existed, I would have used it last time. So but for now, though, I'm pretty happy. So we have got mining. But I think it's already at the point where it's the upgraded version. That's exactly the same, right? I'm pretty sure we got the upgraded version, so we don't worry about that. I guess we want to save up then. I reckon what we do, we save up. And we either grab this one, which costs two. Because this is just negative hazard rating. That would make everyone more efficient. And also, I think it increases the growth rate a little bit. If I remember how that works. Uh, yes, it would do. So that would make this base just better. It only costs two, so I guess we've got to figure out how do we get more. It might be a thing that we just generate it over time now, because we have what we have, but we'll have to see what goes on. Anyway, uh, now that I've looked at that for a long time and just absolutely fanboyed over it, it's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Though. It's under control. It's under control. I'm going to drop off some of these units, I think. So we're going to drop off the shuttle, the rocket launcher mechs, and I think that's it. I'm also going to probably commission some more units, I think, for next episode. So if I go over to Doctrines, oh, this one, sorry. I want to get myself some more allies. So I feel like we want to get probery, proper property. <laughs> we need some properties. No, I need to get myself some weapons that actually might be useful. Because we've got some pretty limited tech right now. But it's a lack of blueprints. We, we just don't have what we need, to be honest. We haven't got any bombers. We can just get the ships in for now and we can upgrade them over time. So I think what would be a good idea is if we do get myself an additional Falcon as another backup unit that can fight in combat. It's going to cost a lot of money. I've got 10 grand, right? 100 grand. So I could probably spend a little bit more. And I think I might also want to get myself, actually it's technically 120 because we make like 20k a month. I'm also going to get myself probably a hammerhead. Yeah, just so we have some ships that can actually fight back a little bit. I would also get another carrier, but that costs too much right now. So we've got to try to keep in the budget here. So we'll go for a Falcon and a Hammerhead. And I can help us out a little bit there. I have got stuff we can sell and get rid of, which is quite nice. Let me just get rid of all these random things here. And I think apart from that, everybody, we're pretty much at the end of today's episode. We are having a problem, though, with supplies still. Especially actual supplies. We've only got 24 left. So we've got to try and get some cash. And then we've got to go and buy some stuff. Or we're going to have a long day. What is this? Resolution failed. Fair enough. 
So what we're trying to do tomorrow, we're trying to do some more exploration. I don't think we're trying to have to kill the bases right now, so it's just how things are going to have to be. Uh, oh, I did forget though, there are attacks coming in from multiple enemies, so we need to try and stop those attacks first before we do anything else, or we're going to have a very long day. But, at least for now everybody, that's it for today's episode. I guess we're going to be doing a lot of defenses next episode, then trying to get some more supplies, <laughs> and then we can go and get myself some additional things such as uh, new equipment and whatnot. But, apart from that, I hope you have enjoyed. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment below, and I'll see you next time. Bye!